we want to work out the area enclosed by r equals 3 plus 3 sine theta. So let's do a quick sketch of it over here before we work out the area. Um, so we start at naught. When we put naught in, we get 3. So that's going to be here, and that's theta equals naught, and that's the value 3. Then if we go around to pi over 2, we get the value 6. And then if we go around here to pi, we get 3. Again, don't we? So we'll get that shape. I should have drawn it like here, shouldn't I? That x. So that's 3 as well. So we went from naught sine uh, being naught, so that would be 3. Pi over 2, this would be 6. Okay, so we get that. Now we come around to when it's negative here underneath. So 3, it comes around to what value would it be here? So this is at pi, and this is at 3 pi over 2. And it comes down to naught, doesn't it? Because this would be minus 1. So it's always going to be positive, and the maximum it can be, the smallest it can be is naught. So it's like that, isn't it? And then around, like so. So we can just work out half that. And that's what it does in 2 pi, isn't it? Uh, so this whole region here goes from minus pi over 2. around to pi over 2 and that will give us the area here and we want two of those to cancel with the half so we can just write the value there so let's do that then shall we uh, here the area then enclosed by this uh, curve is going to be two of these so the halves will cancel with the two the integral between minus pi over 2 say and pi over 2 of r squared so it's uh, 3, I'll put that outside the bracket because it's common, and 1 plus sine theta squared, and this is squared isn't it, because the 3 came out, d theta, that's r squared, so we made sure we did that, so that's equal to 9 minus pi over 2, pi over 2, square this then we get 1 plus 2 sine theta, plus sine squared, so that's equal to, 9 lots of minus pi over 2 to pi over 2. 1 plus 2 sine theta. Now sine squared can be replaced. Um, we'll put a half here. And it can be replaced by 1 minus cos 2 theta, can't it? There we go. The half there, because we wanted to write 2 sine squared theta, and that's 1 minus cos 2 theta, it can be replaced by uh, d theta. Apologies for that, with this drawing in the way here. So what have we got then? We've got 9. Now let's run along integrate term by term. Theta, integral of sine is minus cos, minus 2 cosine theta. And then this is a half, so that can go with the 1 to make 3 over 2. And then we've got minus a half cos 2 theta integrates to the sine 2 theta. The minus needs to be there, and we need a quarter, don't we? So that the 2 pops out to make the half when you differentiate. So we've got that then between minus pi over 2 and pi over 2. Now, um, OK, this top value here will be sine pi, and this bottom value will be sine minus pi. So both of those will be 0. Cos pi over 2 is also 0, and cos minus pi over 2 is also 0. So these values don't change. The only thing that will alter things is this thing here. So it's equal to 9 then. Top value. So put pi over 2 in here. We'll get 3 over 2 times the pi over 2. As the top value inputted, take away the bottom value, which is 3 over 2, and then we put in minus pi over 2. Close the square bracket, so we've got two lots of this effectively. So we've got 9, double minus makes a plus, so the half and the half, it will just be a 3 pi over 2. 27 pi over 2. 
That's what the answer is there. Let's just tidy that up. 27 pi over 2. Let's just double check that then. This was 3 pi over 4. And this is another 3 pi over 4. So it will be 3 pi over 2, won't it, when you add them? And then 9 3 is 27, 27 pi over 2. Unit squared.